towards the next question that is question number five what is the difference between direct and indirect development so we have to tell the difference between indirect and direct development now i hope you all know that what is direct and indirect development if no then the answer is indirect development is a kind of development in which the organism give birth to young one when after fertilization what happens in the sexually reproducing organism we know that the gametic formation takes place after the formation of gametes these gametes are going to be fertilized with each other now after the fertilization we know that the development or the production of single celled structure is going to take place which is deployed in nature that is zygote and that zygote is going to transform into embryo now in all sexually reproducing organism what can happen is in some of the animals in some of the sexually reproducing organism that embryo that embryo will transform into a different kind of stage and is not going to transform into adult directly if any sexually reproducing organism embryo is uh, not going to transform into adult directly and is developing into a larval stage is going to develop into a larva less developed larva and then this larva is going to develop into an adult human being then this kind of development is known as indirect development because an intermediate stage a larval stage is present in them in their uh, cycle the larval stage is present in them the larva when the larva is present the larva have a different food requirements different food requirements and also an important term here is metamorphosis metamorphosis is a phenomena which is in which the larva is going to be transformed or is going to be developed into an adult individual this phenomena is known as metamorphosis so i hope it is clear that what is indirect development it is a de indirect development what happens any individual if any embryo any in, of any individual is going to transform into larval stage then after into adult stage this kind of development is known as indirect development and the larva if it is formed have different food habits than the adult individual this type of development is known as indirect development and the metamorphosis can be seen in the indirect development this kind of indirect development you can see in some phyla such as amphibia of animal kingdom all right and primitive animals now let's talk about the direct development in the direct development what happens the same procedure will go in the sexual reproduction the gametic formation then the uh, gametes will fuse with each other the zygote will form the zygote will transform into embryo and this embryo is going to give rise to individual adult individual directly there is no larval stages present there is no intermediate stages present between the embryo and the adult individual if there is no intermediate or larval stages present between embryo and adult individual then this kind of development is said to be direct development and if in case there is intermediate stage or larval stages present between an embryo and adult individual then this kind of development is said to be indirect development indirect development can be seen in amphibians direct development can be seen in us humans reptiles birds mammals etc so this is the basic difference between indirect development and direct development so we are going to write the differences between direct and indirect development here in the left column we are going to talk about the direct development direct development and in the right column we are going to talk about the indirect one indirect development so the very first point is that if embryo if an embryo is going to develop is going to develop
into an adult individual without involving without involving an intermediate stage without involving a larval stage or an intermediate stage then this kind of development is said to be direct development also in this no metamorphosis no metamorphosis is seen no metamorphosis is seen in the animals who exhibit the direct development as metamorphosis is a phenomena of larva becoming individual the phenomena in which larva develops into an adult individual this phenomena is known as the metamorphosis and if larva is present then it have different food requirements so no metamorphosis can be seen in the animals who exhibit direct development for example we have aves reptilians reptilia all right mammals and we are also included in the mammal so i'm not writing humans here because we are included in the class mammalia all right if we talk about here in direct development then if an embryo if an embryo is going to develop is going to develop into an adult you in uh, adult individual not human it into an in adult individual by an intermediate stage intermediate stage that is larval stage then this kind of development is said to be indirect development and obviously if the larva is present it have different food requirements and there will be metamorphosis seen in the animals who are exhibiting dif, uh, indirect development so metamorphosis metamorphosis which is a phenomena through which the larva is going to convert into adult individual so metamorphosis is seen in them metamorphosis can be seen in the animals of direct indirect development and the last third we have examples such as amphibia amphibians all right so amphibians are the example of indirect development and in case of direct development we have examples such as aves reptilia mammals etc so this is the complete solution of question number 5 i hope you get the difference between indirect and direct development